Shallow up. I hope you're all doing well. I'm sorry about the light. I don't know why it was it blocked the light all right. for a minute. So there. What happened to my afro? Oh, so I uh, hope you're all doing well. Thank you for joining. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to continue where we left off, kind of, sort of, sort of, kind of. And uh, what we got is we got some stuff to go over, and eventually we'll get through all these, and we'll knock it back down to one or two. And then from there, we're going to be up to date, right? All right, so this messed up. Hold on. All right. So we just did a video. Um, We're looking at Madaba, right? And that's... Aaliyah, Capilona, or Capilina, Capitolina, whatever. Okay, so, prime example, 717, 715281, ignore. So, Mundaba, the map looks just like Chicago, right off Lake Michigan. With Lake Michigan being the Jordan. So, <clears throat> that's kind of interesting, you know, to say, oh, let's look at Michigan at the Jordan and see what we get. So, what we're going to do, we're going to file that shit away in the mind, right? Because that shit sounds pretty good. It doesn't sound that bad, right? So, the Jordan being the biggest star in the city also adds, well, isn't that really interesting? And then, right, uh, I was just talking to Vincent, and Vincent said uh, Obama gave uh, something to Obama, to uh, Jordan, about uh, doing things to benefit America, right? So, when you look at idolatry, and, right, you got all these motherfuckers that are like, I hate America for killing my family and poisoning that spider. Right? All that shit. And I'm not trying to be racist when I use those accents. You, you know those are the accents that fucking say I hate American. So don't bullshit yourself. Um, so when they do this shit, right? You know, what is, what is Michael J. Fox to them, right? When they sit there and they, they dress like Michael J. Fox, it's 2000. 2001, 2005, and you see these dudes in these buffalo shirts, right? And they address them just like Michael J. Fox. Why? Because the syndication, right? We have a TV show, and we watch the TV show in the moment. They buy the TV show. They watch the TV show 10, 15, 19 years later. So up to date, we're dressing like what we're watching right now, and then up to date, they're, they're dressing like what they watched yesterday, which was a program that we watched 10 years ago, so they're dressing like we dressed 10 years ago, but not actually us, because again, they share this Neanderthal blood, and they share the mentality of Psalms 83, so it's not just like the nigga, it's just like the oppressor, right, so this is why they run around like they're cool, dressing like Michael J. Fox, and they look like just pure fucking nerds. And they don't understand that till they come and they live here a little bit. And then they, everybody dressed so much differently than they do on family ties. You know, and, and, you know, it's because of syndication. All right. So when we get back to this, all right. So what Jordan does is Jordan gets people out of the mindset of, I want to kill Americans, all right? Because then they say, I want to be like American. Remember what we taught about the wrath, right? The wrath comes up until it overflows and spills back on the most high. That means I'm punishing these Israelites, in my opinion. That means I'm punishing these Israelites. The problem is, is the rest of the world think they so damn cool, they keep mimicking them. So it got to the point where they miseducated you, stopped educating you, and you couldn't find a job in the street, so you started robbing and hustling. Now that became so popular because the brain training, they want everybody from each corner of the United States to do the same thing. So they put it in movies, and now the foreigners watch the movies. Now they don't want to dress like Michael J. Fox, Michael P. Keaton, right? Now they want to dress like what? 
Did you see Minutes to Society? Oh, good, good movie. Okay. So, now they want to run around with a gap in their waistband. They want to run around. They want to shoot sideways. Like the melanated man. Like the nigga. Right? So, you know, now they used to shoot straight on. And now they shoot like you. And they turn their gun sideways. And, and now you have a chance to live because they're shooting like a gangster. So the gangsters are pretending to be the police. And this gives you a fucking chance now. Right? And at the same time, they're fighting to have the authority of the white man, but they they want to act like they down, right? Uh, it's very confusing when you sit there and say the brain training that they have to experience to oppress you, but see, say that you're cool as shit and try everything not to act like you. So, of course, Obama gives something to Michael Jordan and says, Thank you for making America the best that we can go and we can put our foot in somebody's ass. We can steal their resources. You can't do that to Arabs. They're really in control. But you can do these things. They can say, I hate America while wearing a jersey that says 23. Right? While wearing a fucking t-shirt saying, can you smell what the rock is cooking? Huh? Of course, saying it in their accent. Right? Talking, F the black man. F them Americans. Yet, practicing his pimp walk so when he walks amongst us, he can feel cool. Think about that shit. The wrath of the Most High versus everybody wanting to mimic the saints. Oh, when the saints come marching in. Right? That, that Andy. Right? The white man wants to be the saint. Right? Left, right, left, right, left, right. Ooh! You guys ever heard that? Take yourself five minutes. Any meal? Mino, mijo. Forced ad. Forced ad. Can't even skip. Forced ad. That's against my will. You're supposed to be oppressing. Oppressing. Fair You're use. You're supposed to be oppressing. Fair use. You're Fair supposed use. to be oppressing. I don't know, but I've been told when the saints come marching in, we roll so deep that they can't believe we sold out seats and them CDs. Please don't sleep on the beat. I Fair use. Up, please. Still don't get it what you keep up, please. We ain't no heroes Fair to use. sell. If you bought one, better keep your receipts. Fair okay, use. I get it. I know what they're thinking. We some kumbaya singing, corny Christians. Keep so, your dick. Again. Everybody makes money off you. It's terrible. So, the Middle East is actually the Midwest. What? Left, right, left, right, left, right. Can't touch this. So, uh, the narrative of King James, right? You know that they, uh, fucking, they changed our road here, right? I live in Akron, right? I live in Akron, right? And they changed our road here. So, uh, like, there's a, it's called now, uh, oh, 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 King James. Wait. Now a street. 
They changed our streets and named it after a goddamn child. This motherfucker's younger than I refer I refereed games for his fucking school. So we got into this conversation, right? Now, you have a Caucasian celebrity. And nobody gives a fuck who his parents are. The minute you have a melanated celebrity, every, everybody says, who's his daddy? Why do you see this all over the YouTube? Everybody always wanting to know who somebody's daddy is if they melanated. Who in the fuck? When did you see somebody type in who is Tom Cruise's father? Nobody gives a shit. Why do you see people on, on online saying, who is Colin Kaepernick's father? Or, or, I, or I'm not cheering for that team anymore. That's weird. That's weird. Why is it with melanated people, you want to know who their fucking dad is? That looks like my dad. That looks like Jesse Jackson. That looks like half the brothers that call me and say, hey, this is me wearing a t-shirt. But that's LeBron James' dad right there. See the ears and everything. See the elf ears? I love that shit. Black elves. See, they always show you white elves on the screen. They, they always show you, show, you, show you white dwarves. They don't show you Arab dwarves. They don't show you melanated elves. No. If what's what's that? Michael Strahan. My see, fucking Vincent was like, hey, type in, type in Michael Strahan and LeBron James. I was like, bullshit. This was all my month ago. And so these two fucking relatives are hanging out publicly. And nobody knows why. Because they're related. One's the direct bloodline. One's the direct bloodline. Don't mess with my discount. Don't mess with my DNA. Don't mess with my history. Like, you know, like, who doesn't look? Okay. Descendant of King James, right? Usher, where does an usher belong? It belongs in probably a descendant of a deacon. And then you already you you already know some his, his last name's Beaver, people. It's an animal. His goddamn last name's an animal. Beaver. Let's get the fuck out of here. <sighs> Drops a smoke bomb. Poof. I thought McCleland. That's got to be Irish or Scottish. So, lip, rack, lip, rack, lip. Oh, when the Saints go selling out. Okay, so, so the narrative King James overthrowing Jordan for supremacy makes sense. Seeing as LeBron James is born in Akron. It's funny because I'll study something and I have no idea like when I'll actually broadcast the information. Like I've had this information on screen for a while, you know, and like the little pieces have been kind of falling into place. But the comment that this man made is so unique because we're about to take this into the New Testament and then we will discover the lie in the New Testament following one word. And then we're going to find hate. It's funny. It's funny how the devil works. So, oh, when the saints can't touch this. So, we started this because of the cuneiform stuff. So, the cuneiform stuff led to some very interesting things. And you see how this sheet is? This is like a music sheet. It's written out like a fucking music sheet. All right? So, all you would have to do is look at all these little words and look for the little stamp for land. Or parcel. Everything to do with land. 
then you're going to figure it all out. Because looking at this with it translated and then finding another one with it untranslated, you can just look for the symbol and be like, oh, all right? That's what happens when you write shit like a music sheet. Yeah, they messed up. I had a fantasy. I was sitting in a school. And I caught the motherfucker live. And when he showed the word for land and it was on a cuneiform tab, he tried to say it was goat. And I fantasized. I just got up and whooped the shit out of him without saying it. He already knew what it was, it was all about. That's the fantasy I had, right? My my waking dream, right? Because these people just steal. They find their way uh, uh, into covering up that they dug into a mound. The United States sets up fake court cases. You cannot have a court case without someone that can be cross-examined. You can't fucking put Lex Will versus a book. Book, on the night of the 7th, tell me what happened. Yes, I understand, book, tell me more. Jury, did you hear that? Book, say it again! So, the idea that United States versus uh, approximately 450 ancient cuneiform tablets and approximately 3,000 ancient clay bulls. No, that, that, that can't happen. United States versus Lexwell. Uh, Lexwell would like to call the United States to take the stand. I'm an agent of the United States. You're not the United States. You cannot speak on the behalf of the United States. You're fucking agent. Show me in the United States. It's just a corporation. So now you got to admit you're an employee of the corp. So you got, see, this can't be. It's a lie. So they're returning the fucking cuneiform, who? To the curator. The United States is the curator. America is the owner. The United States is the curator. See, America was overthrown. It was overthrown by what? 50 Freemason Union. That's what it says today. Texas always says, give us what we want or we will fucking succeed. We will succeed. What is succeed? It's to succeed without you. I can do this without you. What is the European Union? Unity. What happens when the Un European Union says, I don't want to be in this union? I can succeed. I can succeed without you. Chief Joseph has this tablet. He's walking around because why? It's his land. Why would Hey, I got a tablet for a cow that was slaughtered. I don't even have I don't even have the dust of the cow. What's the point? They make it sound like Chief Joseph handed this shit over. He was captured and they searched him. That's a big difference between, well, one day we woke up and Joseph was there. He stacked up his weapons and he said, I don't want to run no more. That's a that's a mighty big difference. Um you know, you know, it's huge. Well, we captured him. He killed five of us. We captured him, and when we, when we, when we, when we, when we patted him down, we found this. So again, their version of shit is just that. So something came up, and it was the Great Lakes. And then it became, uh, where's the Great Lakes in the Bible? So I typed that in and I started looking for it. All right. And of course, the first thing that comes up is Jesus stuff, right? And I was like, wait, there's Great Lakes and Jesus, the first thing that come up? So an investigation needed to take place. So I started typing in weird shit. Like Great Lakes in the Bible. All right? See, so it came up again. Now, down a ways, can't remember if this was this page or the next page. 
think that's why I had the same thing open twice because I had to get another get it from another page. But anyway, this came up. Tiberius. And it started making me think of uh so you know I'm starting to lose my teeth. I'm at that I'm at that age that it, you know my cracked fillings, my, my teeth are cracked, the fillings are, are weak. To re uh drill new fillings will just get down and warp the rest of what I have. And so, you know, it's all it's all a program, you know, and I fell for the program. So in studying this, I started looking at smoking aces, right? And like my big joke today is when you look at the movie Smoking Aces, right? One of the interesting characters in there is uh, Captain Kirk. So uh, you say, who plays Captain Kirk today? Uh, and you get Tiberius, James Tiberius Kirk, right? Chris Pine, right? So when you see Chris Pine in Smoking Aces, something really funny happens. You start looking at shit, and he's fucking missing teeth. So when you see these flimsy ass arms, these fucking teeth missing, and you see what they do with the fucker today, then it's a program. And they can take anybody. I'm going to say it again. They can take anybody and they can run them through the fucking program. All right? Now, you go watch Smoking Aces. And you tell me, oh, no, 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 no. They spent a bunch of money and they fucking digitized his teeth. And I'll smack the shit out of you for being so goddamn stupid. You take trash, you fucking clean it up, and you call it a goddamn captain. So, Tiberius, James T. Kirk has been coming up over and over again, right? So you have the, the Jordan, Capernaum, Capernicus, Tiberius, right? So they call this the Sea of Galilee. Now this is where it's going to start to get funky. So the Sea of Galilee has to do with the Gibraltar, right? Not really, but we're going to get to it. Because when you say Great Lakes in the Bible, they say you need to look at Lake Tiberias. So what is Lake Tiberias? So the Mediterranean, right? Blah, blah, blah. West side. West side! Straits of Gibraltar, where the Atlantic Ocean meets the Mediterranean Sea. Now, we're going to skip over here real quick. Let's do, 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 do. Nope, that's too short. Do, 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 do. Oh, look, it's we don't have to skip. It's on the next one. Ah, I was already prepared for this. That's great. Okay, so let's say this is Africa. Let's say this is Europe. Let's say the Africans that we call Mexicans and the white people, and then here's what we call Europe, and that's where. So they get on boats, right? They had they had a war. It was it was the black versus the white and the Mexicans, and the white and the Mexicans lost, and they brought them over here, and then that's when Germans, right, overthrew black Germans overthrew us all. So so when you look from right here, and you just take a boat. All right, I'm going to say I'm going to come from Spain. Isn't Spain kind of the highest tip right there between Wales and Spain right there? And I'm going to end up in Hudson Bay. And as I go down the waterway, staying away from more ocean because you don't want to fuck with more ocean. You're going to go down Hudson Bay and you're going to end up right there at the fucking Great Lakes. That's what's going to happen. Bob has claimed this, so Doug is going to go down here and he's going to find these islands. He's going to say, oh shit, look at all these islands. They're going to come up through here and they're going to see New York. They're going to see Babylon. They're going to see Tyr. 
what the guy had on the screen yesterday, the book I bought, Ancient America, Tear, Ancient Israel. You see how when you leave right here, this is what you're going to see first. You don't want this ice. Nobody talks about, oh, do you, you know, the things we found up in Nova Scotia and Greenland. Nobody gives a shit about that. They say, my goodness, what we found in America. So, when they go this way, they're going to pit stop in only one location. Because it's just the way it is. The last thing that they're going to hit before land, 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 it's going to be Lake Michigan. Or what we call Lake Michigan. Alright, so, when you say Gibraltar in the Bible, alright, or just Gibraltar itself, they're going to give you a bunch of shit and they're going to keep saying it's the Mediterranean Sea. So, again, when they sit there and say it's the Mediterranean Sea and then they have these videos saying, oh, the one time the Mediterranean Sea uh, 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 went away, it makes me think that this is the Mediterranean right here, alright, just that pocket. Everything extended, everything connected. Because what's happening is when these mass earthquakes take place all over the world, every empire is affected. When the earthquake happens, your compass don't mean shit. You know? So, let's go a little further. Let's go to Gibraltar, the Wicca Wiki. <coughs> This is what the Wiccans are taught to believe. <coughs> it's a British overseas territory. Now, ain't British in England? Shouldn't their Gibraltar not really be overseas? I mean, yeah, it sits in the water, but it's next to them. See, over here, America is an overseas territory, right? <coughs> Territorial Indian land, right? Uh, again, every time they got to tell you where it is, it's like, it's brainwashing. It is an area that is bordered to the north by Spain, right? I got to tell you where it is. Landscape dominated by the rock of Gibraltar. The rock of the, is a monolithic limestone promontory located, huh, in the, territory of Gibraltar it's in a, basically it's in some water okay it's in some water now look at this it's populated by Gibraltarians whatever that means right so nothing really is going to give us like the secret secrets by playing in this game like staring at you know what they want you to believe all right so let's start over now Gibraltar in the Bible now did you see me Great Lakes in the Bible, they gave us nothing, but I said Gibraltar in the Bible. First, they gave us Jesus, right? Gibraltar, and then they gave us what? Jesus, right? Where was that? Whatever. Anyway, so, keep your eye on G Gibraltar, right? Okay, so, why would you have to keep your eye on Gibraltar? Now, remember, this is what the robot wants you to see. Message 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 none of these are fucking meaningful if i say show me a verse right i don't want to see no damn rock i want to see gibraltar itself in the bible so they say that in psalms 31 and 3 Right? Now, do you see the word there? Thirty one and three. Right? I asked for thirty one, they gave me Psalms five. Thirty one and three. Anybody see Gibraltar? 31 and 3. See Gibraltar there? I don't. 31 and 3. See Gibraltar there? I don't. See Gibraltar there? I don't. Maybe it's time we just read the verse for what it says. For thou art my rock, my fortress. Therefore, 
name, what? For thy name's sake, lead me. Well, whose name? That's David talking to the Most High. So they added a name and they preached this name even though it's not in the Bible. They call it the Rock of Gibraltar. This is what guides them. David's talking to the Most High, right? He's making a what? A metaphor, a simile. You are my rock, my fortress. They say, wait, no, we actually worship a fucking rock. And what is that rock? Well, it's the altar rock. Okay, so what does that mean? What? What does that mean? What? What? So, we want to skip over some of this first. Damn. Okay. So, it's a huge rock, right? <coughs> There's no rock. It's an idol. So we're going to skip over there. So the rock of Gibraltar is a promontory that sticks out of the water, right? So then you have to say, what is promontory? Promontory. Promontory, whatever. Promontory. It's a point of high land. This is what they were. It's been a point of high land that juts out into a large body of water. So it's a rock that's sticking out of water. It's a point of land sticking out of a body of water. So it's a fucking rock sticking out of a body of water. Okay. So Gibraltar. And if you go to a map, you will find out Gibraltar is in Michigan. Now watch this. Gibraltar City is downtown Michigan. Wait, what? So, if you pay attention to some of the people that make sense online, they start showing you things like England was formed or incorporated after New York. New York, New, New Amsterdam, then New York, right? Right? Um Albany Right, the governor of Albany is King James. You understand what's going on? King James is beheaded when he goes back to England, excuse me, Britain, right? Because that's when they want to take him down. The protector, the protector chops him. Chop, 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 right? Chops him up. Why? He extended the kingdom. Why would the protectorate have a problem with this? This is the natural question that comes up. We'll get to that another time. I'm just going to have to lay that out there because it started tickling my brain. So, as we look at your Gibraltar is in Michigan. Now, find out what's going on with this. What does Gibraltar mean? What is Gib? See, we always say Jib, Jib Alter. So, what is Gib or Jib? All right? So, the best way that we can do this is we can go play in etymology. So in etymology, they're like, mm, we don't know what this means. So in 18th century, that's 17 something. They're like, well, yeah, I don't know. So the people that made etymology said they don't know. Well, let's find out. So when you say jib, and this is, right, this is just from Oxford. Oxford says they don't know. But etymology online says, they know. So let's go to etymology online. So what is gib or jib, right? There's two different things, right? <laughs> they took his giblets. They took his. You're missing something. Eunuch. Gibberish. Bab. Babel. Gib. Gibor. Giborim. Gib means to be Icklis. Icklis. Nicholas Icklis. Okay, so uh, G I B with an E is a noun. It's a taunt. Ha ha ha! In your face. So that's like that's like we 
23 Jordan we play basketball I have dunked the basketball in your face and I was like poof bitch where was Jesus for you All right okay so it's a jib it's a taunt now well of a certain origin it came from somewhere else that means it did not originate this is British books British books so it did not come from Britain it came into Britain and when did it originate they're like we don't know Right, perhaps from mid French gibber to handle roughly, right? To handle someone roughly, to taunt them, to talk shit to them, to mock them, right? So, what is alter? We we know what an alter is, but let's spell it funny and let's spell it with an E R, and it's an alter ego. Seconds. The Lord and I are one. He's one half. I am the altar. Right? The second. Right? I want you to trust me. I can take your sins away. But the other half doesn't say that that can be possible. The other half says what is possible. Alt-R. Alt-R is what? A high altar. It is an altar for sacrifice. I am the gib. The castrated male, right? You ever see the fucking, uh, the, 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 the doll? They said they broke open a, uh, Some somebody somebody knows exactly what I'm typing in right now. They broke open this garden gnome and they found a female version of Jesus inside, right? Right? This is this is it right here. Right? You see it in perfectly. Jesus Look, look at the word Golem. See? Wake the fuck up. Right? Why they got Jesus written all over this shit? When they broadcast it, when they found it, they said it was Jesus. Who in the fuck puts a statue inside of a fucking gnome? That is pure paganism. Wait, wait, what do you mean that's pure paganism? Okay, somebody tells you, don't let me fucking catch you worshiping something. Don't let me catch you doing any pagan shit. Don't let me catch you worshiping angels. Don't let me catch you worshiping demons. So what you do is you're the hand of the workman and you're like well I can still sell idols and what you've done is people know gnomes exist and nobody feels that gnomes are worshipped they just know they exist and what they do is they put gnomes outside their house so when the little people that we call gnomes or we used to call gnomes now we just call them little people when the gnomes come running around and they see a fat statue maybe they'll be like oh they know we exist don't mess with their house because there's nothing like secrecy all these things keep some form of secrecy from modern man. The little people do, the hairy things do, the bald things do, where the wild things go, they all keep some kind of secrecy. Because they know once they get caught, they're dead, and then they're displayed for everybody. And then everybody's like, what the hell is that? It's just a costume, right? I mean, we all play this game. So, they already got Jesus inside of there. They already got, it's a fucking golem, it's a gnome. Right, hidden inside of a gnome. Not it's a gnome, but it's hidden inside of a gnome. All right, so let's go back to jib, jib and altar. Right, so to mock. Right, so again, for a pagan to sit there and say, I still want to worship my shit, and I'll do it right in front of you. All right, inside his gnome, he's got a statue of a deity. All right, so again, it was, it was, that's most likely the image of the queen. Right, the queen of heaven. Right, and they made cakes under her ass. Right. Uh, to sacrifice to great gods, uh, burnt offerings to worship, offer sacrifice. All this revolves around altar. So what is the rock of Gibraltar? It's a rock that's being worshipped, being sacrificed to. It is a mockery, an alter ego of what is right. You've heard this. Two sides of every coin. 
One side is wicked, one side is righteous. One side is good, one side is bad. Duality, all that shit, right? So, let's go backwards. So, I'm reading this Gibraltar in the Bible. Somehow or another, I got... Let me just type in uh, Gates of Hades. Because somewhere it said Pillar of Hercules. That's how it came up. The Gates of Hades and Gates of Gibraltar. I was reading Gibraltar and it talked about the Gates of Hercules. So I typed in... Or it said Gates of Hades. So I typed in Gates of Hades and Gibraltar after reading that. And then here we go. Now remember... Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades, they call them Hades, There's that's that rhymes with ladies, there's no I-E-S at the end of that, they're mispronouncing that on purpose, Hades rhymes with shade, right, these are three brothers, we looked at the rape actions of one, and then it showed the others, all three do the exact same thing, they are serial, Lucky charms, buddy. They are serial apists. Right? Oh! I, I want something and I just take it. Right? They're serial. What does that mean? It's called serial because they wake up in the morning. That's the first thing on their mind. They go to bed at night. They're planning for the next day. If I could just get the Stephanie down here alone in my cabins, no one would know. There's a story about it. Everybody knows it's just nothing but an apist. Nothing but. So the Pillar of Hercules, right? Oh, man. All right. So the Gates of Hades is what's actually brought up. That's the Rock of Gibraltar, right? In Petros, he says, On this rock, Ultron! On the you understand what's going on? On this idol, I will build my church of idols. Do you go into the fucking church and you see nothing but idols? Look at this, man. Come on. Why did they take this line to show you that ro robot that I'm Ultron? I can duplicate myself. There will be many me's if I call you to the desert. Come on, then. You see it right here. I will build my church in the gate of heads. What? How can that be righteous? You got the north wind, the south wind, the east wind, the, the west wind that go to heaven. Why don't you build your go a gate on the winds that go to heaven? No, you built your fucking gates on evil. Now, when I said the gates of gates, right? When I was looking around, right? They messed up because here they had heads, right? Now watch. Hades, right? Do do do. Pindar calls it the gates of gates. Wait, what? Who in the f right? Wait, wait, wait. See, that's where he messed up. See, I've heard that Pindar shit before when it has to deal with Freemasonry. I'm not sure what it means, nor do I have to look it up. No, I'm sure it's just some fucking dumb writer. And that dumb writer, he wanted to seem like he was smarter than everybody else. Like he'd been there. No. When you get one group saying it's H for Hades, and another group saying it's G for... That's a, an ethnic language barrier. That means one person's visiting, the other person is the host. So... He's saying, I understand the host language, and the host language call it Gades. Like, we have the Everglades here, right? Now, watch this. Now, the Pillar of Hercules, right? Gates of Hades is really Gates of Gates. So let's stop saying Hades, and let's go with Gates, or Gades, right? So the Gates of Gades, right? In the ancient history, right? The Pillars of Hercules, the Gates of Cadiz, or Gades. Now, look at that. Like, we're not even messing with the stupid fucking word Hades anymore. Now we put Gades in, and now Cadiz has come up. Now, that's Cadiz from, like, right? Cadets kind of thing, right? Recruits Cadiz, right? And it's actually a city of Spain. Well, if it was a city of Spain, why am I going to find it in fuck Ohio? Wait a second. 
So if you're starting to understand what's going on, you go on the boat ride to Detroit and you get off at the Rock of Gibraltar where they built their church. And then the Indians take you on their travel to Gades or the doorway of Gades, which was east of the Hopewell Indians in eastern Ohio. Not in Spain. Think about this. How come on this side of the map, in the north, you got the Rock of Gibraltar, and then a little bit southern and eastern, you have Cadiz. But if you flip the map around, looking at on the old world, you have the Rock of Gibraltar in the ocean and north in Spain, and to the west, opposites, you have Cadiz. You lazy ass motherfucker, you just flipped the map upside down and you just drew it on a fucking other map. Saying saying it's Spain. You see how easy it is to sit back and look at what these motherfuckers done did. They act they flipped. Look at this. That's caddies. That's where they took the boat to. Outside of Detroit is what? Gibraltar. If you follow the river, you take a boat ride down through here. Because there's no rivers that come straight down from Erie. See, if I didn't live here and I didn't drive this shit all the time, I wouldn't know this shit. No, they messed up, man. They messed up big time. So Detroit ain't the where the gates of hell is, but these motherfuckers got a city called hell. Or just like anybody else has more than one window in their fucking home, are they showing you there's more than one way to what we call hell? Tartarus. It is below us. There is a seal on it. The earth is honeycombed. So one entrance is in Ohio, another, you, there's no, there's no telling how many, you, you know, oh, you've heard of uh, Mel's hole, where they ignited one of these damn holes and it won't fucking stop burning. That's just another entrance and these idiots caught the entrance on fire. Now, why would they call it a gateway to hell unless they don't bend down the damn thing? Now think. If you bend down the gateway to hell and you saw what was down there and you escaped, wouldn't you turn around and light a fucking match? And then the thing burns endlessly, making it so that you can never get back. Or what was you were running from can't get up. So, here, just so people know, once you start searching that lizard people shit, it always leads to hollow earth. And lizard people, hollow earth leads to ant people, all kinds of other shit. All right. So remember. Now, what is this? This is, remember what's going on right now. We have a virus running around. It's the cornea, right? So that's the image of hollow earth. Why is, okay, just watch this, right? Yeah, this fucking word has been around forever. So I type it in and some bitch that's alive right now comes up. Here's a cornea. It's the eye. Their god is a pyramid. As a throne. Pi, Ram, Eid. E, Y, E. That's why I don't like anybody that fucking takes the word self, I, and writes E, Y, E is not to be fucking trusted. This is why I don't fuck with that aboriginal S-U-N. Always writing shit pagan. 
Well, fucking, you could have chose anything, right? So we have a Korea, Corina virus going around right now. You don't understand this? You don't get it? And their God was given the power of death. And he went around with the sword. We call it a needle, a syringe. And they said, line up here and we will check you out. And they checked us out and they said, oh, I think this one has something. And they sent me to line B. And when I was in line B, they fucked me with a needle and told me, this is the cure. Then I got sick. So the gate to hell is in Ohio. And the other gate to hell is in hell, Michigan. And Ohio and Michigan sit next to each other. So if it is a hollow earth, wouldn't that be easy to think that the tubes just run close to each other? And they have a rock that sticks out as an idol to say, build thy church here by the gate to hell. Why would you need to build a church by a gate to fucking hell? So, now you are up to date with this shit. Fair use. Fair use. Fair use.